going to be showing you a recipe. I've made it before and it's going to be out of this book, Trim Healthy Future. As you can see, these books are well used. Now to give you a little background on my Trim Healthy Mama journey, it began seven or eight years ago when a good friend of mine gifted me this book. It was all the rave at that time and almost every one of my friends was on the Trim Healthy Mama way of eating. So I took this book all excited, but as you can see, it's thick and I'm not a reader. It was at the time my kids were little and I thought, I don't have time to read this book. It's like learning a new language. There's so many things that I have to remember. I kind of understood the basics of the plan, but I just stuck this book on the shelf and there it sat for years. So over a year ago, I decided I wanted a diet that I can lose weight, keep it off, and that I can feed my whole family. It becomes not a diet, but a lifestyle. And I always knew that would be Trim Healthy Mama. So I decided I'm going to go get a coach. So I went looking for a coach and I soon discovered Trim Healthy Mama has a lot of coaches. I found this one coach, her name is Linda Johnson, and she specialized in women 50 or older. Well, I haven't quite reached the 50 mark yet, but I thought if she helps women at that age, she's sure to help me. So I hired her and I lost weight. And for the first time I realized this diet plan is doable. It's not just doable for me, but it's for the whole family. And since then, I've hired Linda Johnson numerous times to help me navigate the plan. And through that, I have discovered how much I enjoy cooking nutritious meals for my family. My goal on Trim Healthy Mama is not to be 100% on plan all the time but to make healthier choices every day for my family. And you know, maybe you are a mom and you've thought of the Trim Healthy Mama plan and it just, just felt too much to learn, like a new language. You don't have time for that. You've got kids, you've got school, you've got everything else. I'm here to tell you, you don't need a coach. You don't need to know all the, the S meals, the E meals, the S helpers, the fuel poles. All you need to do is grab a recipe book and start with one recipe. In this day and age when our food is so contaminated with additives, with food colorings, MSG, all those things that hurt us long term, us moms have to contend for our families. And you know, it starts with one recipe. Today's featured recipe comes from Rashida Simpson's book, Trim Healthy Future. And of course, I am not able to put the recipe down in the description, but you can always go buy the book and I'll put the link to the Trim Healthy Mama store down in the description. But if you're thinking, oh, I just can't spend that kind of money right now, Try eBay. That's where I find a lot of my books. And the first step to making this recipe is on one cup of coconut oil. I just want it melted down so you can mix it with the rest of the ingredients. And I have my handy dandy Pamper Chef cup here. I wanted to also tell you, if you are looking to lose weight on the Trim Healthy Mama plan, if that's something that you are interested in, I will link Linda Johnson's link down below and you can go check her out. So that's about a cup right there. I'm gonna put it in here. Set this on low on the stove and just let it slowly melt down. I don't want it hot, I just want it melted so I can mix it in with the rest of the ingredients. Nice measuring cups. They are from Pampered Chef. 
one a half cup of gentle sweet it's about a half cup good enough huh put that in there then I need one and a half cup of mixed nuts and I've got those pre measured right here these are pecan pieces put that in here then we need cinnamon black pepper ground cloves and mineral salt if any of you have watched me cook and bake before you know i'm a dumper i just i rarely ever measure but i got these from pamper chef and they're for you ladies who measure everything who likes measuring spoons running loose in your drawer and you can't find half of them right but these are so handy they're from pamper chef and they have this little thing in the back where they stick into each other won't come apart very handy so the next thing I'm going to do is put in my two teaspoons of cinnamon let's see if I can find my two teaspoon here Here's one teaspoon. Here's a half tablespoon. Let's do the teaspoon of cinnamon. And I've got my cinnamon right here. I want two of that. One, two. Next, a half a teaspoon of black pepper. I guess the black pepper is get to give it a little bit of spice so here is my half teaspoon and then I need an eighth teaspoon of cloves let's see if I have an eighth Woohoo! I got my eighth look at how tiny now the next part is a quarter teaspoon of mineral salt so I've made these before and when I make a recipe, I make it my own. And I know that I want more than a quarter teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of salt in it. Almost a teaspoon of salt. Because I like to taste the sweetness and the saltiness together. Add that in. The next ingredient is four to five dunks of stevia. I got these from Trim Healthy Mama. They, off their website and aren't they just cute they're so tiny they're called a dunk now I want to show you just how cute they are and they're made just for to measure out stevia as you know stevia is pure stevia is very sweet so just look at these cute little dunk measurements and it takes four to five of these in here Three, four. As you can see, these are not as perfectly made and as beautiful as the picture in the Trim Healthy Future cookbook, but they're just as good, I promise you. I put extra salt in. I love that extra salt flavor, the sweet and saltiness. 
And one reason that they are more crumbly is I added vanilla to it. So vanilla and oil don't mix very well. So they are a little bit more crumbly, but they have a really good flavor.